Hello and welcome. So now we're going to look at the web page, which is uh, one of the more straightforward elements on, on the site in terms of how you, you get anywhere and you do anything. So essentially the web page standard, if you don't change anything, uh, what you're gonna get is a page that looks like this. And we, we know that you come to the settings page where you see a lot of what you've done. When you click on that item, you're going to see the uh, web page pop up. So I've just clicked on it there, and there you see on, on both sides that's the web page, that's how it looks. And I'm going to have it open here on the right while I do some edits just to allow you to see how things change. Now, if I go to the web page page and then I start to create it, um, this is really more for influencers maybe than for schools. Some schools like it, some schools go, this is completely up to you. Uh, but essentially, you can have a template design. Now, if you've had the onboarding docs uh, or some of the things to consider before onboarding, it's quite, quite useful to look through, like how different people have used different landing pages, etc. But what you do is you're able to change the header for different items. Now, before I change anything, I'm going to save that page. And you see, it's not going to allow me to do anything. So I'm just going to go in and I'm just going to start to um, fumble around with some words just because uh, it's just going to allow me then to save it in a way yeah, that gives me a complete page. What it doesn't allow you to do is it doesn't allow you to save things before you've had kind of a complete set of items. And uh, most oddly, it doesn't allow you to have anything without an email address either. So there's different items there and different reasons. So I'm going to save that page. And oh, I've missed one thing about us. I'm going to pick a photo, select the image. I'm just going to pick one of those and you selected. We haven't opened that up there because we don't want people, um, because that one's quite large. If, if you have an inappropriate picture here, it's quite small, that's fine. But if you have an inappropriate group that's quite large, we, uh, we, we kind of, well, hopefully we, we, we tend to move away from that. Now, you see, I've saved that. Uh, and then when I kind of refresh over here, there you see I've got my base ideas, my base colors, and then I can start to fool around with it. So if you do have the option of doing split screen, you can do it that way. There is a way to get a preview up in the overview as well, if you so wish, but I'm just gonna show you now uh, where I am in, in terms of this item here. So change the header and you see what I'm gonna be able to do here instead of having a, a solid color, which is why, um, which would be this part here, in fact, it's the introduction I'll probably change more of here because this gives me a bit more. The text shade is light. I've got a gradient there, but I'm actually going to want it a solid color. The solid color I'll have is, again, you can pick from the RGB picker and obviously you can use the picker to select against, um, you know, another color that you, you want to, to have depending on where you are in the screen. So I can just say, yeah, it's that one, please. Uh, and now I'll come back and it will give me those colors. Uh, I'll just change that because obviously that's gone too long. And then I'll save the page again. And then when I refresh over here, you see the colors changed and the text has changed. And that goes through each section by section. So if you think about it, the introduction goes at the top. The about us is the section follows here. The are subjects, and I guess one thing to show you here would be the actual font change. So I've got the text shade there is light, a uh, dark, sorry, it's not appropriate. I'm gonna set it to light and I've got to that part there. And then I save it once more and I'll refresh here and that will change to white at the bottom. So again, you can choose however you want to do it with a color picker and do whatever you need to do. Um, add the text that you need to text and then it comes in there. Now, one thing to mention here, which is important, uh, is the uh, subject, which is this section here, uh, making sure that you have introductory text to your subject. If you don't, this box won't pop up. So you have to have some text in here, which invites you to do that. And then when you click or when the user clicks, take a look, it will take them say, to everything else in the other system. And that's just a nice way of personalizing the front of the, of the, of the item for you.